Hello everyone, so today I'm going to review my new um, palette from Pat McGrath. So this is the Mothership, I think 6, yeah, the Mothership 6 Midnight Sun. So it has 10 shades and this is how the packaging looks like. It's really like a heavy um, kind of palette and it came with a box like this which is really a cute detail. You know, I remember like the old school folders that you, oops, that you open it like this. <laughs> and yeah it's just a really cute detail so when you open it it looks like this and this are, and these are the shade names of the uh, eyeshadows and and if you see inside it's really like a big pants which i really appreciate but someone like me who's not really especially during the pandemic i stopped using eyeshadows so yeah it's just too much i think this is best for makeup artists for sure and it's really heavy and yeah it has a big um, mirror which reminds me of the urban decay palette it was something like this bit heavy and yeah with this kind of long mirror but, but the pants of this is just better because it's circle and it's big so yeah if you want to see my first look and my other looks i'll try my best to cover all the shades um, with how I put my makeup on, like my makeup style. I don't like heavy um, masking kind of makeup. I like that you still look yourself while putting makeup and yeah, it's just easy and quick kind of makeup look. So if you're a person like me, I hope this tutorial will help you and you have a bit of idea how you can make simple looks using this palette from Pat McGrath. So yeah, let's go to my look. So I will try my first look with the Pat McGrath palette. Um, it's really a bad weather today, so I cannot use a natural light. So it's really dark. I hope you will still look, um, see good how I do my eyes. But I, if you're wondering for my lips, I'm using the Pat McGrath um, Flash 5. I will review the lipsticks maybe before this video or after. I'm not sure, but if I'm able to post it, I will link it here so you will see that review. So yeah, I'm going for like this kind of look reddish because of my clothes and my lipstick. So we shall see. So yeah, let's get started. So yeah, that was my first attempt in uh, trying a makeup look from Pat McGrath. For first impressions, I am not really blown away. Uh, I thought that it would like um, blend itself, but I felt like even like the Korean eyeshadow that I got, I have, it's almost comparable to it. It's not even like which one was the one I was really impressed. There was a, like an eyeshadow that I'm, I was really well because it's blend beautifully. I think it was even drugstore. 
I'm not quite sure anymore, but this, especially the matte ones that I tried with the video in this um, look, it didn't impress me, didn't wow me. It was, uh, I need to dip a lot before I was able to be happy with, uh, with the amount that I did apply. And um, this is the look that I normally do when I do like, um, uh, what is that? I have been not doing my eye look for a very long time. This is the first time in a while. Um, I th I'm not sure which uh, technique did I use, but normally I do that with my brown um, smoky, yeah, smoky eye look. But I just put like a glitter in the middle of like half um, part or half half of the eyelid or like lower eyelid or lower lash line. I did just put the the um, the glitter the glitter also was a bit not uh unique I, it didn't pick up so much in my brush so maybe this spot is best with the hand i think i i remember someone told that she intended her palette because she likes especially pat mcgrath she likes to use her her finger to apply makeup maybe it's best i might try to use my finger some other time with this palette if it would be applied better but with this look with the brush that i normally use i i struggled a bit it was it took long before i was happy with what i i i wanted to achieve and it didn't felt buttery for me so yeah that's just the downside of it but maybe use your finger it would uh, be better but we shall see and yeah and probably with my next looks i will uh, just do a voiceover and like an update and we will see how that goes but i will try to cover all the the shades because yeah it would be a bit i think i want to know if i could i think all the colors that i'm seeing right now i think i would love to wear but we shall see how how it would be but i don't know how to pair this violet with the mats that is included here I don't think they're gonna pair good but we shall see maybe like just like a center topper it will be okay so yeah I hope you found this um, helpful and see you in my other looks
So those are my makeup looks that I did try with this palette. I hope it was helpful for you. So yeah, let's go to the definition of this palette. So they said, revel in nocturnal sur surrealism with 10 opulent hues that evoke the dazzling divinity of the midnight sun solstice. This richly saturated, infinitely wearable color story spans a supernaturally scintillating array of next generation formulas, including smoky mattes, burnished bronzes, molten coppers, and vial of sparkling violet. The silky smooth texture, textured glides effortlessly onto leads, offering exceptional blendability and buildable multidimensional brilliance. The transcend, transcendental palette was designed to inspire vibrant, all striking looks for every skin tone from sublimely smoldering to boldly bohemian. But uh, the first, this is my first day wearing it. It was not really buttery smooth. And yeah, the multi-dimension, I still need to try other um, shades. But for today, I was not impressed. So we shall see. I, I'm happy that I bought it not full price because there was like a Black Friday offering in Isipari. And I only paid half of the price. So it was like 60 to 45 euro, which I'm really happy about because... Um, I expected too much because of all the hype, but it didn't deliver today. But maybe other looks, I might change my mind. And I don't... Good thing that there's no scent. And... Okay, it seems like the glitter really looks pretty. The one I used today for my inner corners of my eyes looked pretty good, but it didn't pick up so much with the brush, but probably with a finger they would look better or like apply better because knowing Pat McGrath, she loves to use her hand with uh, like uh, doing her, like doing makeup with like models. And yeah, I think whenever she uh, puts makeup on someone, she prefers her hair fingers. So we shall see about that. But yeah, um, so far, I'm not even sure if I still want to buy another one from her, but maybe only when it's like like today, it's half, half the price. And I think the one I'm eyeing towards is the Utopia, the latest one, because it seems like pretty shades that I would use. But if you're like me, who's not really into, you, you're not daily user of eyeshadow, maybe it's too expensive for you, but surely if you're a makeup artist, it's a good investment. And yeah, I think you would really make a lot of looks with this. And yeah, especially if you like glittery. I think her glittery um, formulas really stands out uh, as what I saw with other reviews. But I would still um, try other looks from this and I will update you with my thoughts. But so far today, um, it's not really, it didn't wow me, but we shall see. And as of her packaging, it really looks luxe. You would really feel like it's not like a cheap palette. It feels so, it has really a um, weight to it. And yeah, all the details, even this, especially the box. It's really like, for me, it's like collector item. It's really um, eye-catching. It's like unusual, unique, and yeah, it's just, I love the packaging. So she really did great with that, so. And I know it will like, um, especially when you travel, you know, your, I think your eyeshadows would be safe because it's really sturdy kind of packaging. But knowing myself, I will not bring this to, to vacation because I'm too lazy wearing makeup during vacation. Um, this will be like, yeah, just my, um, my makeup whenever I feel like it, when I want to feel like a bit special that day. So. Yeah. Hi, just an update for my last um, look for this uh, palette. So this is what I ended up with. Um, I realized I want, I just want to say like what I noticed, how I feel about this so you know what to expect. So I really expected that I would be blown away. Like it's really amazing. It's really opaque. It's really like would, like the formula that I've never tried before, but after trying everything, I don't feel like it's really a spectacular palette. I, I even feel like the 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 price, and the performance, is just overpriced for me. That's what I realize now. And I feel like the Natasha Denona. If you want to invest, uh, I feel like the Natasha Natasha Denona is worth the price. Uh, I I only even tried the like the 
the smaller palette but i was blown away already this not really especially the matte it was a bit a struggle to blend although later on when i pick up more product it blends better but when it was you know i i tried to be careful because if it's too much it's harder to blend it out but for me it blends better when you get more product and the i also swatch it if you see i will show you how they look or how they swatch they they some formula swatch a bit better and but the one matte i think the red one it was you need to get more so it will swatch better but the lighter brown it was okay the dark um the dark matte it's a bit a struggle for me to 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 blend out um it's a bit an intense formula and when it sets it's like it's hard it's hard to move it around but i'm not a makeup expert but i, I prefer looks that are really easy and quick but this i this palette's not beginner friendly at all i will not advise this if you're just delving or like trying makeup this you need to I think you would struggle a bit with this kind of formula the the glittery the top coats are okay like they're they're good to use I, they're not that hard but i notice it's better to use your finger on them than brush the brush will not pick up um like really really it will not pick up good the product it's like really um very few so i i recommend you use your finger for their for her like um highlighter shades and things like that and this shade i don't really like it it doesn't yeah it doesn't really show up good on my lid it's not that amazing probably the the shade that i like is the green and probably this would be a nice like really nice topper I, I i'm not sure if i did a look uh, out of this and this is like a great like um like an inner corner shade or like to highlight your eyes i expected a lot with this because this is really like the shade that drew me from this um from this palette but um i used my finger with it but i feel like there's like space that it didn't blend well so it's not the best like creamy creamy texture or like a great like um, formula to like blend with your finger for me i think the others are okay it's not really the after using it for a week for a week to try and make looks out of them i i i think i would not probably buy anything from her anymore especially this kind of amount i would probably just go with uh, natasha denuna the, i think she also has 100 plus um palette i think that i would appreciate more than this but we shall see i think i like the how the U utopia looks maybe if it will go on sale i will get but spending 100 plus with this i will not do <laughs> I, it's for me it's not worth it okay maybe i because i think i like i i saw a lot of videos that this her, her formula is like out there it's like the best never had something like that i think i think Catherine, I think I heard that from Catherine Lights, but I'm really disappointed with this. I don't, I'm not amazed with this. I was not well, not unlike when I used Natasha Dunra, I was like really amazed. So yeah, that's my thoughts on this palette. It's just sad that it's so expensive, but it turned out to be like this, or I'm just not really a good makeup. <laughs> I just, I maybe I'm, I'm just not used with this kind of formula. Who knows, but yeah. Uh, so yeah, that was my review over this palette. I hope it was helpful for you. And yeah, but they do stay good like long on my uh, on my lids. I think I did. Uh, I will show you how it looks after a few hours on on my eyes. It still looked okay. It still looked like how it looked from the be from the beginning. But I just don't like. This is not the best formula I've tried so far. So yeah, that's just my thoughts about it. So. Yeah, I hope this video was helpful for you. If you have any questions, please do let me know. And I will try to get back to you as soon as I can. So if you find this video helpful, please give this a thumbs up. It will help my channel a lot. And if you could consider subscribing to my channel, it will mean so much to me. So yeah, thank you for watching and I hope I see you in my next one. Bye.